Hi, this is Bill Sefkar. We're here live, and I want you to come over here, Tom. You All deserve right. so much credit here, and not just the cameo here with your nose eyes. This is the man All right there. here, right here, a talent of beyond the galaxies. He's in different crescendos and life forms, life forms, how's that? I like it. Okay, buddy. Thank you, Bill. It was a pleasure working with you. I'll Always. see you very soon. Yes, and uh, I want you to uh, give some, we're going to put a little uh, at the trailer, uh -huh. some of the things, the places where you are doing your amazing things, okay? All right, sounds good. I appreciate it. All right, have and a great I'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Amen to that. A good week. Thank you. You as well. Okay, folks, now I'm just by myself. So, um, we're laughing and scratching and strumming and humming. We got music and all kinds of things going on. And um, it's been an interesting week since we last met. And um, I've made some progress on my book, my new book, which I'll share with you. And some uh, songs that have been uh, posted on our YouTube and Faith, Facebook. Um, this cute one is Muskrat Love, and uh, that was the very one, very famous, uh, popular song by uh, Captain and Tennille, Tony Tennille. And um, the music at the end of the broadcast, we're going to stream that. Uh, uh, I just want to mention that Jimmy Buffett, I had bought this book a couple of years ago because it says 75. And unfortunately, Jimmy Buffett passed away on uh, September 1st of this year, he was 76. And so that song, Margaritaville, was uh, uh, on the Country Music Awards, uh, one of his uh, major, Kavanaugh, uh, song uh, writer, and then his band with the Parrot Heads, uh, it was on the Country Music Awards and uh, performed a few of the songs, including Margaritaville. So uh, I wanted to share with you um, some some quotes, which when we were doing this with my crew of James Worley and John Casimero, I had these uh, crypto quotes that I've been doing all my life. I know you can't see the, the writing here, but um, it helped me with my brain power, which I will show you a book I bought recently. So one of the quotes was, uh, a man travels the world over in search of what he needs and returns home to find it. That was George Moore. And here's one uh, by Ralph Waldo Emerson. The creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. It's pretty deep, deep forest. Uh, here's Edgar Allan Poe. Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. Something to ponder over. Now also they used to have uh, their uh, horoscope. And these horoscopes, I'm an Aries, March 21st, April 19th, but they're universal. And when I would read them, um, and I'd share them because I figure they're so universal that they are really um, something we all should think about and put together in our daily work and, and um, activity. So this is... Listen, digest what you hear, and say little until you feel confident moving forward. Taking time to observe and to consider the outcome of whatever move you decide on will help you avoid making mistake. That's good. Um, here's one... A very telling one. To love is to admire with the heart. To admire is to love with the mind. 
Let's try that again. To love is to admire with the heart. To admire is to love with the heart. That was the Dorf Korchu. Now here's one. It was about a holy moly. I would love. Um, it's about the Hippocratic Oath. I'll never harm another creature again. That was the birth of the Hippocratic Oath. There's a picture of a, a hippopotamus. Silly, but whatever. And the horoscope for that day was, this is an excellent time for artists, writers, or anyone who creates something with his or her hands, because you are full of creative ideas. Well, I like that because it applies to me and a lot of you. This is an excellent day for, for artists, writers, or anyone who creates something with his or her hands because you are full of creative ideas. Well, um, actually, I'm going to share, I'm in the process of working on my third book, my first uh, two books. This is Light, Courage, and Hope that I wrote with a Holocaust survivor, Cantor William Halvin of Blessed Memory. It's about 10 righteous nations that help save Jews and others during the Holocaust, this horrific time. And um, they beautiful stories. And when the book was published, we had a reception at the Embassy of Israel in Washington, D.C., about 11 more years ago. And we recorded the reception with the ambassadors of the 10 countries that we worked with. And it's pretty amazing. It appears on the YouTube channel. Um, Light, Courage, and Hope is my first book. This very proud of my second book is about my dad, Joseph, American Dreamer, walking to the life of my father, Joe Baby, we called him. Joe Baby, he is a very dear soul. And um, on the earlier portion of this recording, I had a pe penned a, a poem called Ode to November. Uh, on my, um, excuse me, uh, on my uh, blog post called Joe's Lifelong Legacy, uh, there are 90 blog posts and 45, the first 45 of those were excerpts as I prepared the book, Like Courage and Hope, about the chapters and my dad's uh, amazing creativity and accomplishments. So the next 45 were um, as part of a newsletter, uh, different articles, uh, poems, and stuff. So this was an ode to November. And uh, I'm going to put this on, uh, we're going to post this on the final recording when it's aired. But yeah, let me have a drink here, my hot tea and honey. says, November brings families together for Thanksgiving. Wish you could bring us that feeling more often while we're living. It could be done. Just think of the fun. Having Thanksgiving every week. Just think of it on our tongues as we speak. I, for one, would entertain this idea, although would only be able to entertain with pizzeria. So hail to the people, women, mostly, who do all the fixings. I know I would be ticked, I would be kicked out of here if I said, said, said we do it every week, everywhere. But the thought is not that we prepare this great feast. It is that we realize that food is only part of the very least and the very least. Of what we're thankful for, it's the people that you share your life on this day and more. So take a minute. No, why not take an hour to find ways to allow your kindness to abound because we're so lucky that goodness should know no bounds. That's true. Thank someone every day and show you mean what you say. Let's this, let this giving thanks begin now and here loud and clear and well into the new year. 
when we can all say hooray. This may sound like a cliche, but maybe it'll play. It was signed Will S, which is my known de plume. Okay, so um, on the book, my third book is called It Worked For Me. It's about my life and the amazing things that have been taking place. It's going to be considered fiction because these things are just too much. So I finished the chapter headings this past week. I have a few people, Mimi and Megan, and they work with me on it. And uh, we'll get it done. But interestingly enough, uh, when I wrote both those other books, American Dreamer and Light, Courage and Hope, I put together the outline, the table of contents. There were 14 chapters. And this one has 12, but it has an epilogue. So um, if, uh, maybe in the next few weeks as I get going on this, I'll show you some of the manuscript. But Growing Pains, Boy, It Hurt. Chapter 1, Surprised Having Survived. Chapter 2, Chapter 3, I Fooled Them. And it goes on from there. And um, the gifts that keep on giving, Chapter 11, What Worked, A Lifetime in the Making. Then there's an epilogue about creative juices, the American Dreamer. The torch passed, is passed on. And forces at work, that's in the epilogue. So those are a few of the things. Um, the past programs, the 53 broadcast over the past three years, were based on positiveness, mindfulness, and giving back. And I've always been very blessed with the human to an inquisitiveness of finding things and positiveness. So this, this is a one of my magazines I pick up, Mindfulness, Your Pathway to Health and Happiness, Break the Cycle of Stress and Anxiety, Boost Your Mental Health, and, and they're really some really nice things. Your Path to Health and Happiness, and I list things on root of feeling better and stress, discover the power of your mind. Um, and they tell you... Uh, what are the benefits of meditation and uh, their health risks? You know, what, you know, physical health, you know, you've got to exercise, but, you know, you can't overdo it. But it needs to be something to consider in your routine. What's the best stress relief method? And uh, they talk about spending time on wooded trails or in other natural outdoor environments. Any place away from human-built stuff like streets or buildings appears to trigger an immediate drop in stress. And mindfulness could lower your blood sugar levels, which we all need to consider, and uh, how meditation may help against heart disease. So these are things that people have been thinking about, how to be happier, how mindfulness can affect well-being. Self-help does not have to be selfish. Take care of yourself. I try to do that. You know, you're your best friend, I guess. If you're lucky, you have a best friend. And this one I just got. Say, the future of your brain. That's some powerful stuff. Improving mental functions, be more creative and productive. If you all can use and I just penned a few things here at Clift. You have power over your mind, not to outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Now that wasn't recent. This was Marcus Aurelius. So that was a few thousand years ago. Your supercomputer in action. A deeper dive into how your brain functions and its magic. And it explains a little bit about the parts of the brain. And, oh, I like this part. Because this music is the key. Oh, get smart. Terms and phrases that you can and help to get you know, get to know your brain a little bit better. 
And here, input number one, intentional music. Music's impact on your mind. And some of the things that you gain to help with your focus and concentration. Music, that's how your brain into it. Music that gets your brain into a flow state is ideal for concentration. A melodic mind. Well, it's just interesting that I have in the back here a new t-shirt. I would invariably get t-shirts made up about songs that I recorded and performed, such as Morning Is Broken, I Love Is The Answer, All the Sunshine On My Shoulders. But this was done at the mall, Citrus Park Mall. And on the front is The Music Is You, which is one of my songs. And it was recorded by John Denver. It says, music makes pictures and often tells stories. All of it magic and all of it true. And all of the pictures and all of the stories and all of the magic. The music is you. Those, of course, strings on the back, though. This one is going to be on the, um, the end of the uh, broadcast. We've uh, recorded this, and Tom has put three songs up. This old guitar, Margaritaville, Margaritaville, I mentioned, and this other very powerful song called Healing Time on Earth. But this old guitar taught me to sing a love song, showed me how to laugh and how to cry, introduced me to some friends of mine and brightened up the days and helped me make it through some lonely nights. What a friend to have on a cold and lonely night. Well, I hope we uh, did some entertaining um, on the uh, and informative stuff. Um, in time, uh, that uh, that future of the brain, it says artificial intelligence is coming, so what are you going to do about it? Well, I'm sure like most of you, I have no idea, but it's going to happen, and we'll have to be there. And then on the cover of my Smithsonian magazine, a similar thought about Michelangelo, move over Michelangelo, can a robot replace the world's greatest artist? No. Never. No. And in closing, um, one of my little sidelights, I don't know if anybody remembers Mad Magazine, but I kind of grew up on that. And this is the spoofs of the 90s. I don't know how I'm going to share some of this with you, but I'll go find a way, because it'll bring some laughs and guffaws and stuff like that. Okay, my friends, I hope that um, the weeks ahead as we get to the holiday season full tilt, you have a chance to be with special people, special time, create new memories, be well, be safe, and I'm looking forward to 2024. I hope to bring a few things that uh, might... Uh, give you a jump start, and we'll go from there. Thank you for, for listening, being part of the Bill Self Car Experience, Mr. Bill's adventures, and the Self Car story as it's going to unfold. The songs, uh, this old guitar, Jimmy Buffett, uh, Margaritaville, and a uh, very Timely song at this point and with what's going on. It's called Healing Time on Earth. This song by John Denver reflected on his life with his music and the guitar, and it certainly mirrors what I had over pretty much my lifetime since college, how my guitar made a good session for me, a good place to be and to reflect on my life and my music and the people around me. And I think it's a good song for you to reflect on too.
this old guitar Taught me to sing a love song Showed me how to laugh and how to cry Introduced me to some friends of mine Brightened up some days Helped me make it through some lonely nights What a friend to have on a cold and lonely Jimmy Buffett by Mac McAnally, one of the star performers through all the years. And the song, Margaritaville, is one of the songs that they played. It's one of my first songs that I learned to play in college, and it sort of had a nice ring to it. I, uh, I liked the verses. I didn't live up to the verses, but I just liked the verses. Margaritaville. I went to a concert, one of his first concerts after the COVID lift it at uh, Emily Arena in Tampa. And uh, I bought the shirt, Life on the Flip Side. That was Jimmy's life. And I kind of like to think about it. Devil may care, but with a little uh, reserve. You can't go over the deep end. So anyway, here's my version of Margaritaville. Nibbling on sponge cake, watching the sun bake. All of those tourists, they're covered with all. Strumming my six string, yeah. On my back porch string, smell those shrimp, they're beginning to boil. 
wasting away again in Margarita Hill. Searching for my lost shaker of soul. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame, but I know it's a nobody's fault. Don't know the reason, oh yeah, stay here all season. With nothing to show but this brand new tattoo But it's a real beauty, oh yeah A Mexican cutie How it got here, I haven't a clue Wasting away again in Margaritaville Searching for my lost shaker of soul Salt, salt Some people claim that there's a woman to blame But I know it's my own damn fault Oh yeah you gave us the good things and you showed us and live on the flip side but don't take it too seriously thank you Bill Sefkar hello this is Bill Sefkar I have a special song as I always say but this one takes on precedence because even though it's over 22 years old John Denver wrote it just before his passing in 1997, performed it only one time. The message runs through. It's with us here and now. Take it to heart. Take it seriously with you, those loved ones around you, your friends. Keep on doing good things and giving, as you'll see from the message in this song, Healing Time on Earth. Let the mountains fall. Let the rivers run. There is 
wisdom here. There's much to know, much to understand in this healing time. All across the land, you have heard my song. Oh, for so many years, you have laughed with me. Yes, you have. You have washed away my tears. You have shared my joy. You have felt my pain in this healing time. Walk with me again. Days, these softer days on this narrow line. Help me find my way. Help me see the signs. I am not afraid. Now what's that? You have brought me home. Let the mountains speak. Let the rivers run. As the world awakes to the rising sun. In each brand new day, in our own rebirth, in this healing time, on our mother earth, let the mountains talk, let the mountains talk. Let the rivers run. There is wisdom here. There is much to be done. In each brand new day. In our own deeper. In this healing time. For our Mother Earth, in each brand new day, day, in our only birth, in this healing time, here on Mother Earth, in each brand new day. In our holy birth, in this healing time, here on our Mother Earth, here on Mother Earth, the other one we have. Take good care of it. Take good care of yourselves and those around you, whether they're loved ones, friends. You have a message to go. Just do it. We make you feel better and make everyone better. Thank you. Carry on. It's our choice. Just do it. And please, if you like, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll have more. I'd like to hear from you. If you have a chance, send me a note. And we'll go from there. Thank you so much. God bless.